Jared Schaffer and Harrison Watt here for your Ferris State Bulldogs NCAA Tournament Preview. The Bulldogs getting ready to take on St. Cloud State in the opening round here in the West Region. Tomorrow's game on Saturday will be at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. You can see the dogs on the ice for their practice here behind us. And Harrison, uh, a tough competition here with St. Cloud. Number two team in the country, number two in, in offensive goals per game, number two in power play. They've got 31 wins on the season. Uh, not an easy team to face in the opening round. They've got a lot of speed. They're not big guys, but they can put the puck in the back of the net if you make a mistake. They also have some pretty good goaltending in Charlie Lindgren. As uh, once again practice here going on behind us, and we're able to catch up with a few members of the team and head coach Bob Daniels during the uh, pregame press conference during media day here at the XL Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. I can say we did feel confident um, going into the playoffs. Uh, for whatever reason, these guys can bat me up. I, we just had a really good feeling about where we were as a team and, and uh, going into the WCHA uh, Final Five. And we're pretty excited to be representing the WCHA in the tournament. And hopefully we'll have a nice long run. Yeah, we've been really fortunate. One, one thing, um, certainly in the long run, and, and I look back between, it was uh, 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 Pat Nagel, to Taylor Nelson, to C.J. Mott, now to Darren Smith. But one of the common themes is um, Drew Famlack, our uh, chief recruiter, does an outstanding job. He's, he's got a good eye for goaltenders. He knows which ones kind of will, will meld into our system, if you will. And he does an outstanding job of bringing those kids uh, kids in. I think in uh, specifically talking about Darren, a couple things help. Number one, we do have four senior defensemen. So there's a, a wealth of experience on the our back end and the fact too that Darren's personality at least in my opinion the guys might differ uh, with my opinion but I CJ Mott, uh, the previous goaltender, and Darren, their personalities are strikingly similar. They're both very cool, calm, collected guys. Nothing really rattles them. They're both very quiet. I think um, their style and goal is very similar, where they're really technically solid goaltenders. And I think they both uh, move the puck pretty well in terms of making decisions. Now, they don't necessarily fire it up ice to, uh, to send us in on a breakaway, but the small area chips that they make, their decision making is pretty solid. So we We've got this uh, a group of four senior defensemen, and all of a sudden a new goaltender behind them. In in some ways, it was like you know a CJ reincarnated. It's a very similar type goaltender. I, you know, I bring it back to last weekend again. I, I just had the feeling that that we weren't going to be denied, even though we were a four seed last weekend and we beat one and two to to make it here. So it's uh, it, we have to have that same uh, sense of, of pride and and willing to not be denied kind of attitude. Your opponent. Uh, a lot of a lot of our stuff generated in the offensive zone comes from down low play. Um, our forwards do a very good job in the corners, battling in front of the net. That's something uh, we've really emphasized the entire season is is winning battles in front of both nets. And obviously, from a defensive standpoint, we've done a good job of that lately. But from an offensive standpoint, we have as well. Uh, multiple of our goals have come from hard work in front of the net. Uh, last weekend, we scored. I mean, the championship game. Our first goal was uh, a good shot from the point, but it was from a great screen from uh, Van Warmer in front of the net. Uh, the second night, or the second goal actually. Van Warmer was working just as hard in front of the net in order to draw a penalty shot. So that's uh, that's a big part of us. That's a big way we contribute our offensive end is just those battles in front of the net and you know getting shots through and whatever we need to do to basically bang home a goal. You know it's it's not going to be pretty, but whatever is going to work for us to uh, make sure we ensure the pucks in the net. Team is ready to go, preparing for St. Cloud State tomorrow. The game time is at 3 p.m. Eastern. And Harrison, uh, this is a Ferris State team that's had a few trips already to the NCAA tournament. They've talked about it plenty. Great opportunity to get back to the Frozen Four in Tampa Bay. Yeah, all-time Ferris State 5-3 and three in the NCAA tournament. They've never lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament. That bodes well for them. They've made it to at least the regional final in all three trips so far. We'll see if they can do the same against this very tough St. Cloud State team. Tomorrow's game is on ESPN News at 3 p.m. Eastern. Also on the Watch ESPN app. So you can stream the game as well on your mobile device. We'll have the call on Sunday 97.3 FM just like always. So you can tune in on FM radio and hear our call from up top in the press box here at the XL Energy Center. Looking forward to bringing you the game tomorrow. It'll be Ferris State and St. Cloud in the first round of the NCAA tournament. For more information, head to FerrisStateBulldogs.com.